Hey guys and welcome to the second career tutorial for Stormworks. This will be a very short one and I will tell you how to set up your first clutch and gearbox. Within 5 minutes you will make your startup boat able to go in reverse and making your boat go more fuel efficient. Since we have nothing researched yet in our career mode we can only use the basic parts. So let's start building. Now we're inside the ship, let's remove those weight blocks and don't forget to turn on the symmetry mode so we don't have to do it twice and we can also remove all the existing pipes. Now we're gonna look for the gearbox in our inventory and let's place two of them. One will be for the fuel efficiency and one will be for the reverse. Since the last update those arrows need to be connected to each other and facing towards the engine. If you don't want to use extra pipes like me, you can also invert the gearbox with U, I or O on your keyboard. So now let's connect everything up with the pipes. On the direct output of the engine we need the T-piece. The slot on the bottom we will use for the power generator and the slot on the top we will use to connect up the gearboxes. Make sure you place the power generator correctly and that means with the black circle at the end of it. When that's done let's place the clutch. The direction of the clutch doesn't matter. And now we can finish off the last pieces of pipe. And since we have a new generator we have to connect the generator to the battery and the battery to all the new devices. And remember, if you hold control, you don't have to drag and drop all the time. Now it's time to set up the gearboxes. You can do that with the select tool and click one gearbox. Let's first start with this and make this negative. This will be the reverse gearbox. The second gearbox will have a positive number. As you can see, uh, 3 to 1 will, will mean 3 revolutions of the engine will give 1 revolution on the propeller. This will make your boat a bit slower, but it will also have a huge impact on your fuel consumption. So let's connect the existing lever to the clutch. And also we want to rename it to clutch main. Now we need two toggle buttons, one button for every gearbox. And the nice thing about a toggle button is it will light up when active. And if it's not active, it will still use the one-on-one -on -one ratio and make sure to rename and power up those buttons. Now let's open the logic system again and connect the small circle to the correct gearbox. So yeah, this is basically everything you need to do to have a reverse and a first gear option. Since I have extra time, I'm gonna finish up the ship a little bit with some lights and some colors. If you want to replace an existing box on your ship, a very quick way to do that is by pressing X, remove the block and press X again and you will return to your previous block. So now that's done, let's go and test it out. First we're going to grab the hose and fuel up the ship for only one or two seconds because, well, that's more than enough for this test. And let's enter our seat. So when we're in a seat, let's just give it a little bit of clutch in the beginning, followed up by a little bit of a throttle. Only a little bit is needed, then we can start the engine and increase the clutch all the way to the max and we're gonna do for the throttle as well and as you can see we go pretty fast pretty easy so the gearboxes are turned off right now that means that they are running on a one-on-one -on -one ratio and that means that the RPS is maxed at the moment so let's try our first gear right now so we have to go back into the first person mode and decrease the clutch we can turn on the first gear and turn up the clutch again as you can see we're going way slower right now but our RPS has been dropped to around 4 so that means it, it, it saves a lot of fuel but it takes a lot of more time to reach your destination so now I want to test the reverse let's just put the clutch on zero disable the first gear, enable the reverse and let the clutch come up slowly so that the engine will not fill if you do it too quickly 
or you don't have enough RPS for it, then your engine might be turned off. Like in this case, and you can fix that by easily just restart the engine with the start button. So let's now reverse back to the base and give the extra fuel back to the pump. Giving back the fuel for this ship is actually pretty easy. Just get on shore and go to the pump and just put that on reverse. Now I only have to dive for the cable and connect it up again. We're now unloading the unused fuel, which is pretty important in a career mode because when you run out of fuel, you run out of fuel. So this is the end of the quick tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you like this tutorial or it was helpful, leave a like and a subscribe. Thank you very much and see you guys next time.